Uniquely Creative People and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry Turquoise and today is a another vlog on Diane Rounds. Now today I am gonna be doing chapter the news I'm gonna make a new chapter nine I believe. Yeah, a new chapter nine and a new chapter ten. However, I've kind of looked at chapter 10, which this chapter, and I've noticed that it's not really something I need in the story, or at least this character's point of view. So I'm going to reread it, and I'm going to make a decision whether to keep it or not. It's Leo's point of view, so I'm just going to hop right into this, and I'll get back to you. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I read chapter 10, and no, I don't need it. I don't need Leo's point of view in this section, so that is a delete. Delete. He does have one chapter's point of view as well, but that is near the end. Delete. He does not help move the plot forward, because I do have this scenario in Leo's point of view, but I also have it in Tasty's point of view, so there's no point in having the exact same scene in more than one point of view. The only time that I will have the same scene in with a different point of view is if it helps make the story move forward and shows you what has happened before they got there kind of thing. That's what I would do. Now, Lily's point of view, she is a huntress. Her point of view, I do need. Because of what's going on. To show you an insight of what the hunters do to a female. And her name, Rai's point of view. However, this point of view is slightly different. Because this one, Lily is the second in command. So, I will definitely be meaning in her point of view to help move the story forward and help you guys understand the hunters a little bit more. So this one is going to be the newest chapter 9. I'm just looking at the colors of the highlighters to make sure I got them right. So delete and change. Indent. Change font and add and if I really like something so I will see you guys shortly
Okay, so that was the newest chapter nine, and I have quite a bit of things to work on. However, those changes will be good. So now I'm on chapter 12, which will be the newest chapter 10. So we're looking at roughly already 40-ish chapters. So by the time this book is done, it'll probably be down to like 30 some odd chapters, maybe even 20 some odd chapters. But I also changed the font, uh, the format and style as well. I changed it back to a, not back, well, I know, yeah, back. I changed it to a to your normal size book, which is 5 by 8.3, I think, or 5.3 by 8.8. .8. I don't know, it's a normal size, and there's a lot more pages to it now. So I'm going to take a look at that size, and i got to remeasure this one to see what this one is, because I like this size for hardback, so I'm going to have to remeasure this. Actually, I think I can, I got well... There it should be. Oh well. I'll use this ruler. Oh. Oh well. So this is by inches. So this is six inches for wide and for length. It is nine inches, so six by no nine by six. I believe is how that goes. So I like this size for hardback. I'm not a fan of this size for paperback for my book anyway. So I'm gonna change it to a five by eight. So that would actually make this book a lot smaller. If I had, I don't know. No, I don't think I got any 5x8 books on top of my head. Or whatever the average size format book is. I gotta relook that. So yeah. So I'm gonna be right back. I noticed that my Instagram messenger went off. So I'm just gonna check it to make sure everything's a okay. And then I am gonna go back to editing this. So I noticed once I get past, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm getting close to the chapters where I'm gonna be doing a lot of point of views. Uh, chapter 13 will probably be one. Chapter 14 actually might be another one. Chapter 15 for sure, because I'm changing that all together. Chapter 16 will probably be another. Same as 17, because a lot of these only have one point of view. 18 possibly. Same as 19. So basically from chapter 13 to chapter 9, well chapter 20, Hope's point of view, all that might be deleted. Which add, you will be quite a bit delete. However, I am fine with that. So I'm going to take a look and on my account, so I will be right back. And I'm back. So I'm going to be reading chapter 12 and making the edits from there. Actually, do I need chapter 12? I actually hit a section in the book where I have to reread all the chapters to see if I need them. So I'm just going to read chapter 12 and make the decision if I actually need it. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes.
So I do need chapter 12, which will be the newest chapter 10. However, there will need to be some tweaks. So I'm going to highlight, make some changes, and go from there. Well, not on, not in the book, but highlight this. Highlight this, and then once I'm done this, go on the computer and make those changes on the computer. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I just finished the newest chapter 10. So we'll see how the changes go. I think it will make it better, honestly. You know what it is, because I knew I'm going to have to make some drastic changes in some spots in this. Because how I'm going to end the Rise of the Spirit Dragon book, it does affect this book. So... I need to make it match. That's exactly what I'm going to try to do and go from there. So anyways, I am just going to take a quick brief break and then I'm going to go on my computer to make those changes and go from there. I will see you guys. Shortly, I also have a live stream happening tonight at 8 p.m. So hopefully I get to see you guys there. And I'll see you guys soon. And I am back. I am just going to... If my computer will let me. Okay, so this is the size for A5, which is the average size for books. It is... 5.8 by 8.3 inches, which is 14.8 centimeters by 21 centimeters, which isn't too bad. It's a nice size length. And with that size, it is 345 pages, and my word count so far is 101,693 words for the entire book so far. And that's not even going to the beta readers yet, so... I'm hoping in the new year in January to have this book to go to betas. I will be doing weekly vlogs on this and each and every single live stream after NaNoWriMo, which I'll make another announcement on this. So after NaNoWriMo, each and every single live stream that I have that involves writing, like my write a story with me, that's going to be my edit. I'm going to do nothing but edits. However, I'm also planning on doing two extra live streams. So one will be a write a story with me and that is being planned for Saturday evening or Saturday night, not Saturday night, uh, Friday night I should say. And I'm also planning on doing a read with me, uh, read a story with me or something like that. Or read a book with me. Yeah, that, I might go with that title better. And that will be for me in the ways where I'll be strictly reading a book. Now, I haven't quite decided on what days I would do that. I will probably do that, like, maybe maybe Sundays, Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. Maybe I haven't quite made the decision yet. Uh, if I 
due to those, those are work days normally for me. I would have to wait until after work when I get home to make the thumbnail on that. So that way I know I'm not missing the live, my own live stream. Uh, however, I might put it on one of my days off and put it either before the live stream for a story with me or after or after it. I haven't quite made a decision yet on that one. I will make the decision before Saturday because that's when the uh, end of the month live stream for me for NaNoWriMo is. So anyways, I am going to be looking for Leo's point of view, but I'm also going to be looking for extra blank pages because when I changed the formatting, it gave me some extra blank pages and I don't like blank pages. I'm actually planning on getting my getting maps drawn, getting my symbols drawn for each group and go from there. Still have quite a ways to go. For some of the reason my computer is going so slow. And I'm not a fan of it. So, chapter 10 is Leo's point of view, and I don't need him. However, like all other story, all other files or chapters, I'm going to keep his point of view. And save it. And then just X out of it. And now I'm going to delete it. Look at that, I gave myself an extra page. Dude, where's my formatter? Okay, that works too. But now I need to get you back to center. Okay, now that's fixed. Make sure this is in the same font too, because I noticed it, that I had one chapter in a different font than the others. It's like, oopsie daisy. So control, copy, new and paste. So this is three pages and 1,640 words for Lily's point of view. Which is actually quite a bit of words for one point of view, but I'm fine with that. For those of you that want to where my word drop, what my word count is, my word count is at 100,593 words. So that's how much words I got rid of just in one chapter. So on average my word count is around the thousand word mark. It's not very often that it goes under a thousand per chapter. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, so I already got rid of chapter 10. So chapter 11 is the ch newest chapter 9, which is Lily's point of view, and let's get started. I'll see you guys when I'm done this chapter. Do a grammar check. 
real quick. I'm liking how the story is turning out so far. Some of it I was a little bit more hesitant with, like I'm not too sure about this. Yeah. And then as I got writing it to make more clear, it made more sense. So I'm really happy that it turned out this way. Now, if my computer would cooperate with me, I could get this done a little bit quicker. Okay, now I'm just going to save that. I'm just going to change chapter 11 to the newest chapter 9. Now it's time for the newest chapter 10 and make those changes. And that's an extra of two pages. So in total for between two chapters, it is 2,875 and grand total so far in my book for draft, again, for finishing up draft, I think I'm on draft 2, is 100,606. So that seems to be the word count so far for it, which is actually quite a bit but it is a horror deck fantasy fantasy tends to be on the higher end of word count so I'm actually quite happy where this word count is going because I do not want to hit under 75,000 because that's the minimum word count for horror so I wanted to make sure it was 75,000 and over so this makes me on the happy note, knowing that I have not gone under my word count. So I don't think I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna, it'll fluctuate, it'll probably stay in the 100,000 word count, but it'll fluctuate on whereabouts. So I'll see you guys after I get this chapter done, and then I'll let you guys know how things are going. And I'm going to have to charge up my camera probably after this. about that my memory card got full there so yeah I'm just gonna save this I made enough changes tweaks to this chapter where it is now fully well this chapter is and why this chapter is fully connected to uh, the rise of the spirit dragon series so yeah I'm just going to open grammar and see what I can find for issues. I'm really liking how this is changing to the better. I like the changes that I am making. I know I don't sound as excited. However, when you've been working on a story for an extremely long time, uh, the excitement wears off. The commitment is still there to a certain degree for some people for some writers they lose the commitment while others keep it 
I'm still excited for this story and I am hoping to have it published next year. And I'm gonna try to make that possible. Go from there. I'm gonna see where about I am at the end of next month for this editing. I know next month is Christmas. However, due to COVID, uh, Christmas might not happen for me. And if it don't, I am probably just going to do a live stream on Christmas Day. It will also depend on whether I work Boxing Day or not, whether I can go see, well no, I probably wouldn't even risk, risk my fam seeing my family. Because of COVID. Oops, the only thing I have not changed was the chapter, I think, yeah. I still gotta change the chapter. And then I'm gonna need a bigger space between those two chapters between the chapter and the character so next week I will be looking at or at least this is my plan anyways next week I am planning on looking at chapter 13 and 14 however chapter 13 all the way to chapter 20 well 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 are all possibilities of being deleted, which will be a huge amount of words lost. It will all depend on whether the chapter helps make it move forward. Uh, chapter 13 is Nosh point of view, so I will be reading him next week and go from there. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to get notified of all my posts. Because during the no rhyme line, I normally post videos five to six days a week. However, I have not been getting a normal routine for that one. So my normal schedule now is posting one writing, one writing tip, one writing related video once a week on Wednesdays. Uh, one editing video once a week and if I have if I'm planning on starting book two of the Spirit Dragon series I will be starting to post them once a week as well however that will all depend on whether I feel, feel like it's time for that one because that will be for that book for that specifically and I post non writing related videos every other Friday and I do bonus videos all the time so click that bell icon to get notified of all my posts plus I do five live streams uh, re read the story with me live stream is not planned yet but it will be soon and I will be post doing four live streams instead of three Tuesday afternoons, Thursday evenings, Saturday, Friday nights, and Saturday morning. So definitely click that bell icon to get notified of all my posts. And follow me and message me, especially if you want to be a co-host on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and Discord. You can also join the Creative Server Discord, come join us, meet new people, learn new things, help each other out, and be creative. All the links are down below, click the like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, stay true to yourself and stay unique. Bye!